Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is Thursday, July 21st, and this is your morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. All right. So, what I think we're going to do for, um, well, certainly for today and maybe uh, for a little while, is we're going to be looking at Psalms. Um, these are, um, you know, this is, this is the Bible's prayer book, you know. Uh, these Psalms are um, prayers to God. And um, certainly a lot of good theology to be found in them, but also, um, you know, good patterns for us, good examples for us. And I think in, in some, sometimes you might be surprised <laughs> at um, how we're encouraged to pray and that um, maybe dispel some, some uh, misconceptions that we might have. So we're starting off with a, uh, just a short one, Psalm 6. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. For the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. All right. So here, this is a, a Psalm of David. And he is filled with anxiety. <laughs> so if you are filled with anxiety, this one's for you. Um, he is just being crushed by the weight of his guilt, of his shame, um, seeing just how how helpless he is to measure up. That he just can't, he can't fix this. He can't, uh, he, he, he's helpless. And... Um, you know, it, it begins with um, him just kind of laying it out there, you know, and, and he, he, well, first he appeals to God, you know, don't rebuke me in your anger. <laughs> don't discipline me in your wrath. Um, you know, Lord, he, he, he accepts that, you know, maybe, um, you know, he, he might be worthy of rebuke or discipline, but just, you know, be kind. <laughs> Lord, like, I know I'm not worthy of anything, but just be gentle with me. Um, you know, don't, don't, <laughs> Don't deal harshly with me. And he says, I'm languishing. My bones are troubled. I, I am so filled with this trouble and this anxiety that I'm physically affected by it. I'm languishing. My bones are troubled. My soul is greatly troubled. And here he says, but you, O Lord, how long? I mean, he complains to God. Why is it taking so long, Lord? How long? How long are you going to, to let me feel this? Um, so, you know, it's... <laughs> acknowledge that, you know, if it feels like, you know, you don't, it's, this is long enough, God, please take it away. Complain about it. <laughs> Vent it. Um, let him hear about it. Absolutely. And he says, turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Um, save me for the sake of your steadfast love. Um, you know, he, he is so devastated here. He is so beat up and, and brought low. That it's not like deliver me because you know because you love me deliver me for anything of myself but he says deliver me for the for the sake of your steadfast love for the, for your name's sake 
He says, for death, in death there's no remembrance of you. You know, if, if, if I die and, and I'm cast away from you, what good is that? Um, you know, save me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your glory's sake, to, to show all the people how merciful and great and, and, and full of grace you are. Uh, not on account of me, not because I deserve it or I've done anything to merit it, but Lord, just live up to who, who, you, who you've told me you are. You know, Lord, you, you've told me that you're gracious. Lord, you told me that you're merciful, that you, you are loving and steadfast and faithful. Be those things, Lord. Prove to the world that you are who you say you are. Um, you know, a lot of prayer is is actually kind of boldly, you know, kind of grabbing God and saying, you said this. You promised this. Now, of course, God doesn't forget his promises, you know, and he never denies his promises at all. Um but there, there is something cathartic, and I think it's good for us why we get this um, example to say, like, yes, hold him to his promise. Um, you know, we, our experience with with promises are they're broken all the time. You know, people break promises left and right. There, there's no promise that has gone unbroken among among people. Um, and, you know, sometimes it, 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 it's like moving heaven and earth just to get somebody to, to live up to the, something that they promised. And so that's, that's our example in life is like, what am I going to do? And so when we go to God, um, you know, he is trustworthy. He holds his promises. But, you know, coming from, he does not expect us to be something we're not in terms of coming to him. We're, we're accustomed to people breaking their promises. And so um, what we see here is, is he doesn't, like, zap David for, you know, presuming to say, um, Lord, you promised. Do this for your sake. You have, you've set yourself out here as, as the holy, just one, so be that one. Um, you know, we, we, we come to God with the way that we understand how things work. And, of course, things are terrible. Things don't work. They're broken. They're sinful. They're they're just a, a wreck. They're a mess. Um, and so when we come to God, it's like we don't know what to expect, really, because all we expect, all we well, all we get from others is disappointment. Um, so it's almost like coming to God with a with almost a, a little bit of skepticism when we say, "Lord, you promised this. Be true to that promise." Um, and then he he continues by just saying that I'm weary with my moaning. I flood my, my bed with tears every night. I, uh, my, my eyes are wasting away because I'm, I, I can't even, you know, I, tears don't even come out anymore because my eyes are just so done with crying. Um, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm weary, Lord. I can't do this anymore. Um, you know, we just lay it out there. <laughs> um, you don't have to put on some kind of false, like, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm trying and, you know, I'm, I'm giving it my all, but, but, you know, if I, I'll try harder. It's like, you know what? No, you're hurting. You're suffering. Um, <laughs> you, you haven't been able to. So just admit it. You know, there, there's something to admitting <laughs> that we can't. We're done. Lord, I'm at rock bottom. Um... These are all good examples of how we should pray. Um, and then depart from me, all you workers of evil, uh, for Lord. Well, he, and here, here's where we get the, where the the term where he says, "This is what he finds comfort in." For the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer, um, which is fantastic because it's not that the Lord has delivered me this, that, or the other. That the, the Lord has fixed this or whatever, um, but He's heard me. The Lord has heard my weeping. You know, when, when, I, when I cry in silence, when nobody else knows that I'm breaking down and falling apart, the Lord hears me. The Lord knows. The Lord has heard my plea. He's heard my prayer. He, not, not just heard my prayer. He hears my plea. He accepts my prayer. Um, so this prayer that is flawed and filled with emotion, that is raw and um, bold, and uh, presumptuous, the Lord accepts that prayer. 
because you've prayed it in faith, because you are his child, because he hears you, because he loves you. Um, and he is true to his word, and he has promised to hear you. He has promised to answer your prayer. Um, so yeah, this is, Psalm 6 is a great one. <laughs> I mean, there's, they're all great. <laughs> this is going to be every day. It's a great one. Um, but no, seriously, this is a good format for, for, for prayer. You know, let it be raw. Let it be angry if it is. Let it be broken and full of sadness. Um, weep before God. He's not just going to stand there disinterested. He hears you. He accepts your plea and your prayer. He loves you. He'll comfort you. Um, so yeah, this is fantastic. But I know nobody's you know dealing with anxiety or anything. So sorry, I'll try to pick a more uh, pertinent prayer next time. All right. Well, let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Blessings to you today, and blessings on your prayers. Um, I hope you are able to uh, go to God today in prayer and, and just be real with it. You know, whatever you're feeling, let it out. Um, he hears you, and he knows. Um, so, blessings to you today. I uh, hope you have a good day, and... Uh, We'll see you tomorrow morning. So until then, peace be with you.